carrying contraband. This particular card, Easter card, right? But what this is, this whole card right here is soaked in methamphetamine. When you turn it over, see a little bit better, you see part of it that's stained. Today, they're getting so good at that you won't even see the stain. They'll take a, a black... Heroin is smuggled into the prison in the most ingenious ways. This postcard, they'll buy two identical postcards just like this. On one of the postcards, they will carefully access and half the postcard and tear the back of that first postcard off. Okay. Then they'll take and they'll, they'll take a heroin and they'll put that in, same, wrap that in cloth, and then they can iron that heroin to paper thin. Then they'll the, the heroin on top of the second postcard, then put the top of the first postcard back on top of it. So you'll have a postcard that'll look just like this, almost paper thin and almost undetectable. And this one appears to be clear. If there were heroin in the dark spots of this postcard, my light would not penetrate. And then I would know that we need to carefully access this postcard and get the drugs out. This, uh, this postcard's clear. So we just continue on. Today, they don't find any drugs, but they do intercept a coded letter. There's a regular message there. Doesn't look anything out of the ordinary. The officer down here in the mail room, he, um, by further inspecting the inside of the card, what he did, he cut this open, and right here is what they call ghostwriting. And I think you can see it there. The message here was going to a gang member in a security housing unit and they're asking permission to stab an inmate on our general population.